Hi, my name is Amit Pimparker and I'm a Microsoft Technical Trainer based out in Sydney, Australia. In this video, we'll try to figure out how to configure access to the virtual machine that you created in the earlier module. All right, let's begin. You done the drill. To start with the activity, let's hover onto the page, aka.ms slash ac900 slash sandbox. So once you're on this page, I would request you to go on the fourth lap, which is configure network access. Now, once you're here, make sure that you're logged in and your sandbox is activated. Now, before we move ahead, just make sure that in this exercise, you'll configure the access to the virtual machine that we created in the earlier module. Now, the Microsoft Learn Sandbox sh should still be running. If the sandbox timed out, you need to redo the previous exercise again. Okay, with this, let's begin. Now, the goal of this activity is to access the web server we created or the virtual machine we created in the previous exercise. And to access that virtual machine, we need to know the IP of that virtual machine. Now, let's find out how to access the IP address of that virtual machine. Now, there are a couple of ways how using which we can find out what is the IP address of the virtual machine. One is using Cloud Shell. Now to use Cloud Shell, either you can directly use from this page itself, or you can go to the portal and click here. So you can get access to the Cloud Shell. Which one matters, which one is correct? Both are correct and it will both do the job. Okay, now coming back, now let's try to find out what is the IP address of the virtual machine. Okay, now to begin with, let's copy this command, azvm list IP address, and try to paste it here. This should give us the IP address of a virtual machine. As you can see, the IP address of our virtual machine is 20.66.50.30. Now this is one way of finding it. The other way of finding it is go to the virtual machine. Name of a virtual machine is myVM. Now click here. And you should be able to see the IP address of your virtual machine here as well. Okay, now we need to access this IP. We need to access the web page that we created in the last module. Now to do so, I'm just gonna copy this and I'm just gonna paste it here on a new tab. Let's see if we can access it. Looks like we can't reach this page. Looks like an error. Okay, let's try to resolve this. There's one more way of checking if we can access the web page or not. Now, if you look here, it says run the following command, the curl command to download the home page. Let's try this one out. So it says curl, connect timeout five, HTTP, and then the IP address. Don't forget to put the IP address of your virtual machine. And the IP address of my virtual machine was 20.66.50.30. I'm just gonna copy this command, put my IP address in and try to run it again. Let's see if I can actually reach my virtual machine or there's some problem. Okay, that says that I actually can't reach. There's some problem with my virtual machine. Now let's try to figure it out why I can't access it. Now, if you scroll down, you can see that there are some rules on the network security groups that might, that might be stopping me from accessing my virtual machine how to find out which network security group is stopping me. Now, first of all, let's try to figure out which network security group is my virtual machine using. Just gonna copy this, I'm gonna copy this, and I'm gonna paste it here. Let's try to see which network security group is blocking that access. Now, the network security group which is blocking this access is my VM NSG. Okay, now let's find out which rules in the network security group is basically blocking it. So to find out the rules, again, go down. Now let's try to see which rule is blocking it. Now you can see the rule list command here. You can just copy it. So you can see the easy network NSD rule list command. Let's try to see which rule does my VM have. Now this is the rule that's blocking. I can see that an inbound direction is applied. There's some rule which is only allowing 22 port. What's the port 22 used for? It's for use by SSH. But this syntax is a little hard to follow. I'm gonna use another command 
another command with a query command in it. I'm just going to copy this the AC network energy rule list along with the query command. Let's see if it makes my life a little easier. There we go. So now it says that port number 22 is allowed. It allows SSH and the priority is 1000. Now please remember, lower the priority number, higher the preference. Now as you can see, only port 22 is allowed. To access it, to access it via web, which port number do I need to be allowed? Any guesses? It's port number 80, the HTTP one. So what I need to do is I need to add port number 80. Let's go ahead and add that port number 80. Again, there are two ways of doing it. Either you can copy the whole CLI command directly from here, which basically adds port number 80 and gives us a priority of 100 and allows it. So you can copy this and just paste it here. Other way of doing it while it is running in the background, you can go to network security group your network security group, as you know, is my PMNSG. You can go to inbound security rules and add it from here. So you can just add. The rule has now been added. I did it using CLI. You can add it from here as well. All up to you. Okay, now this rule has been added. Now it should allow the HTTP traffic. Let's see. Let's see now if my page is accessible. And there we go. Welcome to Azure. My name is my PM. So our web page is now accessible. Even if you use the curl command, it should give you a similar output. There we go. Welcome to Azure. My name is my VM. Okay, so it's working. You've resolved the issue. So that is the end of the activity. So what we did was we tried to configure the access to the virtual machine. Now, please notice that this is a sandbox and it automatically cleans up once you're done. So thank you so much for being part of this activity and I hope you had fun. Just thank you.